This looks like a normal flash drive, but it's not. With this single USB, I can show you three DIY hacking gadgets. One steals Wi-Fi passwords, one grabs browser logins, and one can completely destroy a computer. Same flash drive, three serious risks. So are you ready to create these beasts in under five minutes? If you want more real-world hacking ideas like this, subscribe to the channel. Let's jump into the video. how to turn a regular USB flash drive into a smart Wi-Fi password stealer in minutes. Imagine you're at your coffee break and someone brings this beast, plugs it into your computer for just a few seconds and walks away like nothing happened. Then he opens the drive and finds your Wi-Fi passwords, IP addresses, and everything else saved there. So, are you ready to build this silent Wi-Fi stealing beast? This content is strictly for educational and ethical hacking purposes only. Do not attempt any of these actions on systems or networks you don't own. Any misuse or illegal activity based on this information is entirely your responsibility. Let's get started. First, grab a regular USB flash drive and plug it into your computer. Inside the drive, Create a new notepad file and paste the code. I'll explain what this batch script does in a moment. If you want to skip ahead, use the timestamps below, but I recommend watching so you know exactly what's happening. You've probably seen that if you open CMD and type this command for a specific saved network, it shows that network's details. Our script is made to loop that command over every saved network to automatically collect all the network information. Let's see what happens in our batch script. First, the script restarts itself in a minimized state, so you never see the command window pop up. It just runs quietly in the background. Next, it stores its own full file path in a variable called self. This lets the script know exactly where its batch file is, so later on, it can write the Wi-Fi details right back into that file. After that, it inserts a blank line, then adds a header with the current date and time. This acts as a timestamp, so each Wi-Fi details dump is clearly marked and easy to identify. Then, the script calls a PowerShell command to list every saved Wi-Fi network on the system and extract each network name. This means you don't have to enter network names manually. The script automatically collects all of them, even if they have spaces or special characters. For every Wi-Fi network detected, the script writes the network name in brackets, runs the standard command I showed you earlier to display that network settings and password, adds a blank line, and writes all those details directly back into the same batch file. So after execution, the batch file itself serves as a log containing every saved network's password below the script code which means the Wi-Fi details automatically saves into the same batch file with the code. Once finished, the script displays a brief message confirming that the Wi-Fi details have been saved in the batch file and shows you the exact file path. Finally, it pauses so you have time to read the confirmation before the window closes. Now I save this as a batch file. So if I run this, it will display you a message after collecting the all the Wi-Fi details like this. If you need the process to be fully silent, you can remove the pause here so nothing displays after execution. Now we have to make the file run automatically when the flash drive is plugged in. But first, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. First, download the auto run software. Note that the auto run software must also be installed on the target machine for automatic execution. Otherwise, you'll need a USB rubber ducky or another keystroke ejection device. Open the auto run creator tool and select the flash drive. Then choose the batch file and click create. 
Everything is ready. If I unplug and replug the drive, the batch file runs automatically and collects all the network details. Open the batch file with Notepad and scroll down to view the saved details. This looks like a normal flash drive, but when I plug it in, it can pull saved browser passwords from any PC in seconds. Chrome, Edge, Firefox, all of them. Inside this flash drive, you can see all the passwords inside this text document. And the crazy part? You can make this yourself in just a few minutes with your own flash drive. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this in under five minutes. Let's get started. First, plug your flash drive into the computer, then download the web browser pass view software and put it inside the flash drive. If you open it manually, you can see all the saved details from each web browser, especially the passwords. Now I'm going to create a script that will extract these passwords into a text document automatically within seconds. To do this, first create a text document and paste this code inside it. We're using a VBS script for this. Let me explain step-by-step step what this code does. First, we start by creating a shell object. This object allows our script to open programs and send commands to Windows, which is how we control web browser pass view automatically. Next, we create a file system object. This object is used to create, write, and save files on the computer. Then we set the program name, in this case, web browser pass view. You only need to change it here once, and the script will use this reference everywhere. We then run web browser pass view using the shell object and wait three seconds to make sure it has fully loaded. If your computer is slower, you can increase this delay. Remember the numbers in milliseconds, so 3000 is three seconds. After the program is ready, we send control plus A to select all the saved passwords. We pause briefly to make sure the selection happens properly and then send control plus C to copy everything to the clipboard. Another short pause ensures that all the data has been copied successfully. Now we prepare the path for the output file. We create a variable and build the path so that output.txt will be saved in the same folder as this script. Since VB script can't read the clipboard directly, we use PowerShell to grab the clipboard content and store it in a variable. We then create or overwrite output.txt, write all the copied data into it, and close the file so it's saved properly. Finally, before closing the program, we bring web browser pass view to the front to make sure it's active, wait a tiny moment for it to be ready, and send Alt plus F4 to close it safely. And that's it. Now you have all the saved browser passwords stored in output.txt, ready for review. Remember, if your computer takes longer to open the program, you can increase the wait time in milliseconds to ensure everything works correctly. Now save this as a VBS file, if you run this manually, you will see it collect all the details and save them into a text document within seconds. Isn't that crazy? Now we need to make this file run automatically when the flash drive is plugged in. To do that, first download the USB Auto Run Creator tool. Then open the application and select the VBS file from here. After that, select your flash drive from here. Now click on the USB Drive button and finally click on the Create button to generate the auto run. If I unplug the flash drive and plug it back in, you can see the file executes perfectly. But there is one limitation. This auto run method only works if the target machine also has the auto run software installed. Otherwise, you can simply add an innocent wrapper and run it manually, or you can do something similar using a USB rubber ducky. This shows how fast a simple script can gather browser details from your own PC. This USB looks normal, but once it hits your PC, the computer shuts down instantly with no warning and no delay. And the craziest part, even after I remove the flash drive, 
The system keeps shutting down again and again every time I try to log in. Scary, right? In a previous video, I created the first version of this, a USB Windows killer that crashes the computer instantly. And today I'm making the second version, which is way more extreme. First, plug your flash drive into your PC. Then create a text document inside your flash drive, which we will convert into the instant shutdown script. After that, paste the code inside it. Let me explain it one by one. This script starts by cleaning up the screen so nothing unnecessary shows. Then it sets up two important settings. One defines the name for the task that will be added to Windows, and the other sets how many seconds the system will wait before turning off each time it starts. This delay is very helpful when you're testing or learning because it gives you enough time to stop the automation before it activates. If this delay is removed, the system would shut down instantly at every login with almost no chance to stop it. So the delay acts as a simple safety window built into the script. Next, the script prepares an instruction that tells Windows to pause for that time and then force a shutdown. After preparing everything, it adds a hidden task that will run automatically every time the computer starts, even before a user logs in. The task runs the shutdown instructions silently in the background. Finally, the script triggers one immediate shutdown, which happens only once. After that, every time the system boots, the task will run automatically, wait for the delay, and shut down the computer again, completing the loop. Now save this as a batch file. When you run it, the computer will shut down immediately and keep looping the shutdown. Now we need to make this file run automatically when the flash drive is plugged in. To do that, first download the USB Auto Run Creator tool, then open it and select the batch file. After that, select your flash drive. Finally, click on the USB Drive button and then click on the Create button. Now the plug and play device is ready. Let me show you how it works. I unplug the flash drive and now I plug it in again and the PC shuts down instantly. No pop-up, no message, nothing. And even after removing the USB, when I log back into the PC, the moment the desktop loads, it shuts down again. This creates a full shutdown loop, and this is why I call it USB Windows Killer 2.0. One limitation is that you need to have the auto run software installed on the target machine for this to run automatically. Otherwise, you can run the file manually or use a USB rubber ducky for a stronger delivery method. Again, use this only on your own system. This video is only to show how startup entries and shutdown commands work. So this is the upgraded version of my previous USB Windows killer, and now it comes with a full shutdown loop. If you want more insane DIY hacking experiments, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.